And we're back. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dark Phoenix Gaming, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. <laughs> now, last time we left off, we reached the top floor of the Tower of Ishal here, where there was an ogre. If you remember that big, scary, horned boy statue from in Donovan Hawk's vault in the Kasumi DLC from Mass Effect 2, then basically that thing. In fact, I'm about 99.98765% sure that thing is a Dragon Age reference. And that's all that's left of it after we looted the thing. A gigantic ass bloodstain. Anyways, the more important matter is that we really need to light this beacon because we got up a touch late and Logan will be waiting on the signal. So let's light it and story things are going to happen. Now, very big important ones, which is why I decided to wait until this episode rather than lighting it last time. We are already over an hour in length. Anyways, beacon be lit. Sound the retreat. But what about the king? Should we not do as I command? Let's move. Give me a moment while I put on my surprised face. For the fact that someone uh, with that kind of face is the traitor. Well, he's fucking dead. Yep. That went about how I was expecting it to. Cutscene powers go now. So, watch Duncan take down the single ogre with just a handful of stabs when it took us four people and a whole bunch of whittling him down to manage our ogre up the tower. Which he can only do, quite clearly, through the power of cutscene. Duncan. Yeah, that's right. Duncan, who they introduce as this big, major, important character, and who you think has a major role, he's basically just a glorified side character with more backstory. Caught me a little oh, off guard first time. Finally open. Mother shall be pleased. And look who it is. Yes, I remember you, the girl from the wilds, yes? I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten. And we are in the wilds, where I am bandaging your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? 
Hmm. No, I can't say I do. I remember being overwhelmed by Darkspawn at the top of the Tower of Vishal, and being shot by a whole bunch of arrows. That's about as far as my memory goes, I'm afraid. Mother managed to save you and your friend, though it was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. My friend? You mean Alistair, I take it. The suspicious dim-witted one who was with you before. Yes, he is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Why does your mother want to see me? I do not know. She rarely tells me her plans. I take it my injuries were quite severe then. Yes, but I expect you should be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. Well, thank you for helping me. I appreciate I... it. You were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, mm. I am no healer. I have some questions first, if you don't mind. I do not mind. Take your time. Hmm. Are we safe here? Where are all the dark spawn? There weren't exactly a small number of them down in that valley when I last checked. We are safe for the moment. Mother's magic keeps the darkspawn away. Once you leave, tis uncertain what will happen. The horde has moved on, so you might avoid it. Why did your mother save us? I Seems a bit odd, really. But she Two Grey Wardens. Perhaps you were the only ones she could reach. I would have rescued your king. A king would be worth a much higher ransom than you. Mm. And coin is something you place value on out here. That's a bit strange, really. Who says I would ransom for coin? Gold has its uses, I suppose, but power buys far more. Mm. How did she manage to save us, exactly? She turned into a giant bird and plucked the two of you from atop the tower, one in each talon. If you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask Mother yourself. She may even tell you. Are there any survivors besides us? Only stragglers that are long gone. You would not want to see what is happening in that valley now. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, I think we're going to take her word that we don't want to know. Right, aftermath of a battle. Our imagination is probably grisly enough without having reality to add to that. Why did Terran Logain abandon the king? I do not know who this Logain even is. Perhaps ask Mother of it. All right. I think I've probably asked enough questions. Time to move on. I agree. Tis time you speak with Mother, then be on your way. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Last of the Wardens. Right. Mm, I don't need those gloves. We have a pair like that already. And that requires a key. So we won't be having any nosy pokes around here, unfortunately. Out we get. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You... you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Hmm. Mm. 
No, I'm fine, but what about you? Are you all right? Duncan's dead. The Grey Wardens. Even the King. They're all dead. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. Hmm. The Flemeth? From the legends? Davath was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? A bit of magic, she says. Mm. So, tell me something. Why did you save us, exactly? Well... We cannot what do you get out of it? Dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been hmm. the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? Hmm. Well, the land is now so, so totally divided. Land is is rather divided now thanks to Loghain, is it not? That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Hmm. Yes, but what I don't get is, what could he possibly hope to gain by betraying the king like that? The throne? He's the queen's father. Still, I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne that way. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The Landsmeet would never stand for it. There would be civil war. Civil war. Yes, because the middle of a blight is a great time for a civil war. <sighs> Human nobles. Lovely. I presume you're referring to the Oral of Redcliffe, though. Do you think he'd help us if we told him what had happened? Help us over Loghain, I mean. I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Caelan's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Well, what about all those treaties that Flemeth gave us when we were in the wilds before? Could we use those? See, there is a smart lass. Of course, the treaties. Grey Wardens can demand aid from Dwarves, Elves, Mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but Dwarves, Elves, Mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Hmm. We can certainly try. And yeah, I can already tell based of this little interaction that leadership and being in charge is not really something Alistair is all that down for. So I guess we'll be filling that role. Can't say I have a lot of experience with it, but what's the worst that could happen, right? 
It's always been the Grey Warden's duty to stand against the Blight. And right now, we're the Grey Wardens. So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. Hmm. As ready as we'll ever be, I guess. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You were girl. <laughs> the last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> well, thank you. I can't say we don't need the extra help, but if Morgan doesn't want to join us, we're hardly going to force her. Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wild and how to get past the horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Warden, consider this repayment for your lives. Very well. I suppose we'll take her with us. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. And that will be what she gets out of this. The continued existence of the world is considered a fair exchange for us remaining alive. I gotcha. Yeah, I understand. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice hmm. is yours. No, I prefer you speak your mind. You're going to be thinking it anyways. Might as well do it out loud. <laughs> you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. I'll hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? We need all the help we can get. We're not exactly in a position to turn down help. I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. Let's get going. Farewell, Mother. And Don't yeah, you can just tell the these two are going to be Hate getting along like burn. oil and water. Tis far more likely you will return to see this. This is going to be a fun area. traveling group. Swallowed up by the blight. I. All I meant was. Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. Lady, you have a rather warped definition of the word fun. You really do. And yes. We now have four main story beats that we can follow. In the sense that we have the lead of Arlene into pursuit, as well as the three treaties. I'll get into that more later. For now, we can travel to Lothering. 
as our point of urgency. And get intercepted on the way. Because Dragon Age does in fact have random encounters. Some of them are based on the plot and will happen. I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Honora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you. The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Bantigan, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here. Bantigan, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? Oh, snap. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into my personal opinion on Logan here, although you've probably managed to guess it through some of the comments I've made about him so far. We'll discuss that more as it becomes pertinent. And look who we have here. It's Doggo. From back at the camp that we cured. And guests. But yeah. As I was saying before. And Morgan needs to level up before she can cast any spells, so she won't be very useful here. I haven't got her leveled yet. Anyways. Anyways. You will see random encounters when you're traveling from spot to spot on the world map. It's relatively common, actually. Some of them are based on the story, and others will genuinely just happen randomly. Based on some silent in the background dice rolls or something to that effect I think and we will pet the hound I think he was out there looking for you he's chosen you Mabari are like that they call it imprinting does this mean we're going to have this mangy beast following us about now hey watch it Morrigan or I'll name him after you I've always wanted a dog. Maybe it's meant to be. And yes, now we have to name Pupper. Hmm. So, what should I call him? Hmm. Uh, 
I know. This is Sparrow. Uh, that, if you hadn't worked this out, is a Fable reference, because Fable is one of my favorite game series of all time, although I've only played a handful of the games in the series. And I'm actually one of the odd people out there who actually enjoys Fable 3. Despite the fact that it's generally seen as inferior to Fable 1 and Fable 2. I've not finished 1, but I agree that it's inferior to 2. But I still like it. It's a fun game. And Sparrow is the name of the main character from there, Wake which up, is who gentlemen. the dog is named after. Led by an elf, of all things. Uh, and what's that supposed to mean? Don't look much like their mother, you know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now is that any way to greet someone? <laughs> a simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. You should listen to your friend. We're not refugees. And the fact that you're shaking down refugees who are fleeing the dark spawn has already pissed me off, and I'm already disinclined I tell you? No wagons. to give this a shit and inclined to, everyone, to help you retire Why from life. Soul, and not say a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got a pay. Mm -mm -mm. Forget it. I'm not paying. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse then. Those are the rules. You can certainly try. <laughs> well, this is going nowhere. Let's finish this, gents. Yeah, we could have probably intimidated them into letting us go based off of being Grey Wardens, but I think I would rather deal with them, like, right now. Shield pummel. Now. Let's do a limb down. Doggo, go for the archer. Armed and dangerous, ready for action. I Alright, not be defeated. We surrender. We're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. Get by? <laughs> I'm s sorry, but I can't resist. This shoddy operation is pathetic. I could do better. Honestly, I'm offended at your incompetence. Um, right. I guess so. I'm sorry. Hmm. <laughs> Hand over everything you've stolen now. I'll be confiscating it for my Grey Warden War Expenses Fund. Need to think of a better name for that one, honestly. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we've collected are right here. Just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. Hmm. I want some questions answered. Well, what could I tell you? We aren't even from these parts. What's going on in the town itself right now, for starters? It's packed full. The band took his men north with Tern Logain, so there's no one looking out for it except a few Templars at the Chantry. Well, I was just trying to feed my family, you know? Right, feed your family. That 
I definitely believe you. Have you heard about any other survivors from the battle? A couple, maybe. A group of wounded ash warriors came by earlier. Got right out of their way. So just picking a fight with people you think you can take. Gotcha. Nice, brave, straightforward bandits. Lovely. What news have you heard? Everyone's saying how the Grey Wardens betrayed the King during the Darkspawn fight. Got him and themselves killed. Turn Logain pulled out just in time. First thing he's doing as Regent is putting a bounty on Grey Wardens. Mm, well, let's hope that either he hasn't managed that yet, or they haven't got a description of us out to the townsfolk yet, or we could be walking into some trouble. What have you lot been doing then? Well, Besides the obvious, the I mean. Fleeing from the south, chasing from the wilds and farmholders mostly. There aren't soldiers here anymore, so we help ourselves. We try not to hurt anyone too much. Right, I'm done asking questions. Well, then let me go. <sighs> Honestly, the way I see it, <laughs> if we let them go. They could just start doing the same thing somewhere else. That resolves nothing. And a bunch of filthy bandits like that, they're just going to set up and start robbing refugees for the hell of it. That's about as unreliable as you can get for subordinates. So we're not going to tell them to follow us. Although, I'd rather not execute them if I can avoid it. So, that leaves us with turning them into the authorities. So, I hope you guys enjoy Fantasy Prison or whatever they put you in for banditry around these parts. Because I'm turning you into the authorities. There aren't any. Just the Templars and, and they'll execute me. Hmm. <clears throat> well, they'll do what they must, I suppose. If they execute you for your crimes, it's not the same as me taking the law into my own hand with, hands with summary executions. They will do what they must. Come with me. I'm not going down without a fight! Actually, yes! Yes, you are. Bye! And... Archer McArcher face here is not gonna last long. That did it. Now, everyone's leveled. So, let's take care of Morgan so we actually have a mage with magic stuff. And yes, we're going to give her her shapeshifter power. I will give you some combat training. Mm. And poison, emic poison, poison. Mm. So. Yeah. There we go. Now just boost Dolgo a bit. There you 
go. Alistair. going to give you that Templar point you've been asking for. Everything goes into dexterity for Ariane. And give ourselves another point in Rogue so that we can actually unlock things. Quick save. This should be easy enough. As you wish. And unsurprisingly, they were lying out their asses about trying not to hurt anyone, because that's a dead Templar. Right. To trap triggers here, so I'll need to get rid of something. Yeah, there we go. This should be easy enough. There we have it. Into Lothering we is. go. Lothering, pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Mm. Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Wow, being upset Morrigan, so you are a bitch. Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? We've not met that long oh, ago, I and I already now. don't like her. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. <sighs> You have been very quiet, Alistair. Yes, I know. I was just thinking. No wonder it took so long, then. Oh, will you give I it a fucking it. rest this is already? I was shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to, and that's desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Hmm. Morrigan, that's enough. Just shut it. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. Mm. Mm. You have some thoughts on that point? This should be good. I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? No, not as of yet. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, mm -hmm. and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Well... I can already tell you we're not going to the Dalish Elves first, because... We picked up enough stories about the Dalish when I was a kid in the alienage that I know they move around a lot, so... We're going to need some time to find them. Arleman, Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi are at least static locations. They're always in the same place. So we can go to any of them and we know we'll find them first attempt. Is there a way to contact the Grey Wardens? Short of leaving for Elden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisselbt Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. Mm -hmm. Well then, I guess we need to contact people about these treaties. I can give you directions, if you like. Okay. Mm. Where exactly is the Circle of Magi located? 
That will be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter, whoever that is. And the dwarves? We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. And the Dalish Elves. I know they're somewhere in, in some forest, but it's about as far as my knowledge extends. If we head eastward towards the Basilian Forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. And Arleman, I gotta be honest, I don't know where Red Cliff is. Up until I joined the Wardens, I hadn't even left Denerim. He'll be at the Castle Redcliff, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. Mm. And I think it's fairly obvious that Loghain would probably be in Denerim or somewhere with his army or training more troops or something. We don't need directions for that. Plan. Mm, I'd like to know where you're leaving it up to me first. Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now that is unsurprising. Arleman is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. Yeah, and... Morrigan has been enough of a bitch so far that I honestly don't care what she thinks. So we're going to ignore that. It is time that we get moving, though. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. Okay. And there's going to be a few people around here that can actually pick up Stop quests me, I have nothing and you stuff. Want. So, yeah. Why do you keep staring at me so, you flea? <laughs> I thought there would be soldiers here, or at least a place to hide. I thought there would be soldiers here, or at least a place to hide. Looks like that particular camp is just filled with people called refugee, which... They don't have actual names, so they aren't important. That's generally how it goes in this sort of game. Probably go into the actual town proper to get that sort of thing. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. Mm. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. I was just looking for some news and maybe some supplies, actually. But you might find that, though it's probably just frightened gossip. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, mm. my friend. <laughs> Thanks for the warning, I guess. Best of luck, wherever you might go. It's just a guess, but I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is aware of the approaching Darkspawn Horde. Mm. Back off. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. Uh, lovely. I should have the Templars give Little away everything confrontation. in confrontation. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my uh, goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Is your profiteering ruffling some feathers? You could say that, yes. The nerve of these people. He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. His only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. 
You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. You don't think you're being a little unscrupulous here? It strikes me that you're trying to shake down people who don't even have enough to feed themselves. And that seems like kind of a dick move. Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. I think you can still compromise. I think you can compromise and still make a profit, though. Perhaps. If that woman agrees, I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must. So long as the prices do not beggar the needy. Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. So yeah, fair you enough. Come to solve every squabble in the village personally. <laughs> My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Shut up, Morrigan. For your generous assistance. May the maker watch over your path. And wow. A religious figure who was more Is reasonable than the person they were arguing with. That's a novel experience. In any case. <laughs> Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. I actually might be. All right. Just don't buy everything up. Although, to be honest, I'm actually more here to sell things. So, let's get rid of those. You got anything worth buying? Let's see. Let's see. The Dwarven Longsword seems worth it to me. the one of those unfortunately and uh, Darmisu I'm pretty sure that's a Dalish weapon Go. Huh. Don't suppose you're looking all right. Shut up. I have a couple of things to sell you, that's all. Although um, a dagger I've got sitting in my inventory, uh, family heirloom or whatever. I'm 
going to be equipping that as soon as we meet the stat requirements. Mm. Wait a second. Right now. Alistair. All right. Warden's Longsword. No, I don't think we have anything better than that we can hand off to him, although... If his buyback still has my stuff in it, maybe. Doesn't look like we can get anything there. However, the charters are still operating their board. How that dedication! Yeah, we can go here and pick up some s quests. In basically every settlement, there is a. And you can pause that and read it for yourself if you like. Basically, kill bandits outside of the town. Not the ones we did kill. Different bandits. On your doorstep. They would feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at dark spawn hands. There! One of their minions is already amongst us! This woman bears their evil stench! Can you not see the vile blackness that fills her? Mm. Why don't you keep your bloody voice down? I watch the Black Horde descend on my people! I will not be silent! Please stop! Somebody shut his mouth! But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us! Mm. Don't be a fool. Darkspawn can be defeated. They're not immortal or anything. They're just harder to kill than most enemies. No! I have seen them! You cannot run! You cannot fight! You poor man. What happened to you? My family. My clan. Those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here. But we cannot escape the dog spawn! That must have been horrible. How did you escape? I... I ran, hearing my wife screams as they dragged her off. She had hair the same color as yours. Well, I know I may not know everything, but I know one thing for sure. You are not honoring her death by behaving like this. Are you calling me a coward? I'm calling you an idiot. Listen to yourself for just one moment. I... I have shamed my ancestors. But the blackness will go. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. There's always hope. Muster your courage. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. Mm. We must go north to dinner him. Your king is dead. There is no hope. Cheerful fellow. <laughs> yeah. Obviously things not doing too well around here. All right now, 
with the locals, so do what we can to cheer them up. And repeatedly tell Morgan to shut up, of course. Mother says we have to run before the bad men get here. Greetings to you, my lady. If it isn't too much to ask, might you be able to spare some bread? Mm. What happened to you? We thought it would be safer in Lothary. That the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares about a few elves like us. Surely you understand. Of course. And as it happens, I met those bandits. They are very dead now. You killed them? That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. Mm. Yes, quite. Have you seen my mother? That depends. Who is your mother? She's really tall. And she has red hair. We live on a big farm hold, all of us. Some main men with swords came. And mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could. So I did. She said she'd be right behind me. But I've been waiting and waiting and I can't see her. Do you know where your father is? He went with William to the neighbors yesterday. But he didn't come back. Mm. Come with me then. I'll help you look for your mother. Actually just going to find someone to take care of the kid because I think it's pretty obvious his mother is dead. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here in the village. Hmm. Well, go to the Chantry. Someone there will help look after you. I'm not too fond of the religious folk, but... I very much doubt they'll turn away a kid. I will, but only if I don't find Mother first. So, um, are you really an elf? Yes. Yes, I am. Father says elves aren't very nice, but you're nicer than everybody here. Thank you for helping me. Well, that was an interesting little interaction. I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find mm. it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You and I find it curious that you're such a bitch, Morrigan. you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? That would be great, thanks. And Hello. side quest collection time. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. Mm. I'm quite familiar with traps and the like as it happens. I would happily pay you to make some. There's wood and nails and other goods around the village and the forest. But you probably already know that. Sorry. Come back if you make some. Mm. Yes, a tr make traps. And then you got a bed this for lady. You taken care of. <laughs> mm. Actually, I was more hoping that I could help you. Don't need blades right now. We need beds, food, and an end to all these sad sots. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. I know a bit about herbalism as it happens. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travelers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Yeah. 
this is one other reason why it's good to be running a rogue because there's as so rogues let's talk about your mother are the moment. ones I'd rather talk about <laughs> that it makes more sense to have skilled and besides, stuff like healing poisons and, and such and there's a bunch of quests for everyone in the tavern how are we supposed to know where the urn of sacred ashes is making as well ask us how to get to the moon healing poultices poisons and such they didn't have anything better to do i don't get it anyway it's time for us to head on into the tavern let's get started well look what we have here then i think we've just been blessed uh oh Low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about an elf by this very description? And everyone said they hadn't seen mm -hmm. one. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same mm. as them. A chantry sister. With a weapon. There's a new one. I don't need your help, miss. So please step back. Things are about to turn violent, and I would hate for you to get hurt. You don't need my protection, but these men will blindly follow their master's command, even unto death. I am not the blind one. I served at Ostagar, where the turn saved us from the Grey Warden's treachery. I served him gladly. Enough talk. Take the warden into custody. Kill this sister and anyone else that gets in your way. Right. Let's make this quick. Of course. Of course. Why would they make things easy for us, right? Thankfully. The crowd will not be affected by us throwing fireballs. Let's do this. <laughs> And there I was just talking about how the crowd wouldn't be affected by the fire, and we lit Liliana there on fire. I guess I was wrong about that. Good. They've learned their lesson, and we can all stop fighting now. Well, now, we could kill them if we want to prevent Logan from learning that we're still alive, but one, if he sent them to hunt us down, he probably already guessed that we lived. So that would sort of defeat the point. Plus, there's any number of people in here who could have observed this and maybe... I wind up telling Logan about the fact that we are alive and we aren't exactly about to kill all the random civilians in here to keep our survival a secret. Take a message to him. What do you want to tell him? He'll pay for what he's done. We're coming for him. Maybe unnerve him a little bit. At best. At worst, it does absolutely nothing. I'll tell him right away now. Thank you. I apologize for interfering. 
But I couldn't just sit by and not help. Well, I see that. And where does a sister of the Chantry learn to fight like that anyways? I didn't think they covered blade work or skirmishes with soldiers of the local nobility in Chantry training. I wasn't born in the Chantry, you know. Many of us had more colorful lives before we joined. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. Hmm. I am Ariane. A pleasure. They said you were a Grey Warden. I'm surprised you're an elf. But elves must want the blight defeated as much as humans. Yes, no? we do and also live in this world, after all, defeated. and I would like That's it to continue existing. Life. I'm sorry, what? Why are you so eager to come with me? The maker told me to. Excuse me. Right. I believe this is where I back away slowly. I I know that sounds absolutely insane. But it's true. I had a dream. A vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full <laughs> Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair. And this darkness the maker sending chaos. you a vision to help me does seem like a the bit of a reach, to be this. honest. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the maker's work. Let me help. Still, she knows her way around a blade. It could definitely be useful in a fight. So, all right. I will not turn away help when it's offered to me. And we're not exactly in a position to turn down assistance, now are we? Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Yes, and... Blast and damnation. Yes, that's right. We're going to be bringing Indeed. Liliana... Morrigan as our party here but I'll also be utilizing one of the mods that I have installed to have Doggo out here with me Dog Whistle right there So now, we can have Sparrow out with us all the time as well. It basically makes him like a summon. And it's a really nice mod to have that I quite appreciate. Hello there, Mr. Has a Side Quest. What have Here you got I for say, me? Take it up with that blade run by the Chantry. I've got other gear to sell. Hmm. You're out of food. Oh, mess of refugees come in and leave near every night. All have hungry bellies, sad tales, and mementos for Varda. I sold that big merchant outside about half my larder two weeks back, and now he's charging outrageous sums for all my food. Hmm. I took care of it. You did? Say that. Thanks. Well, bye. You're here about food. Take it up with that blade. And hi again. I got other gear to sell. Hmm. Know of any well-paying work around these parts? Check the chanter's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Um, <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about uh, poison. Poison. Well, I have, um, shall we say, dabbled in such matters before. I know a bit. I figured if I kept asking, I'd find someone. I'd pay good mm -hmm. coin for some simple poison. Something to slow them beasties down or make them think twice. Mm. 
I'll see what I can do. Thanks. I might have some ingredients in stock. I don't really know what you need. Yeah. I'll have a look at my inventory and such. <laughs> yeah. Some nice quests around to just deliver items to people. Pays reasonably well, too. Hmm. And there's this fellow. Who is really quite handy for some other side quests you can pick up. As I live and breathe, you're the Grey Warden everyone's been talking about. Is there something I can do for you, sir? I represent the Blackstone Irregulars. We're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with Orle. I'm sure you know that times are getting worse every day. With your help, the Irregulars could be of use to Ferelden once more. Well, how can I be of service? Our leaders thought you might be willing to help. Each of our posts in Ferelden will contain letters addressed to you. Unlike most who work with us, you're getting mm -hmm. letters straight from Railnor and Taurat, our leaders. I hope this tells you how highly the Irregulars regard the Grey Wardens. Well, I'll have a look when I have a chance. Thank you. When you've completed a mission, just return to me or any of our members stationed at an Irregulars post. We'll make sure your efforts are rewarded. Make his blessings light your path. And yes, that is another way we can pick up side quests. All of the towns and such that we visit will have a Blackstone Irregulars post. The chest, which has quests in it for us. And we want to pick the one that's here up, right here and now, well, as you'd say, for this very simple reason. Did you see the new recruiters? That one of them can only be completed if you pick it up here, because after it's either one or two main story missions, Lothering becomes inaccessible. So, you saw that conscription one that was on there briefly? It has one person who's in Lothering, so if I don't pick that quest up now, we won't be able to complete it. So, I think this is a good place to stop for today. When we come back, I'm going to be taking probably the better part of an episode to finish up in Lothering and do some of the stuff like provide those health poultices to that lady and the traps and the poison as it'll get us some nice money and also, a bit of experience, so that'll be handy. And we still need to let someone in a position of authority know about those bandits we dealt with outside, but there's another group of bandits we have to take care of soon enough. So we'll want to do that. There's still stuff we gotta do here before we leave. Most of it's side quests and bounties and things, but no less important for supplying ourselves, and I'll probably want to go and see if we can get Alistair and Liliana some better gear, as it seems like they could probably do with being re-equipped, is my thinking. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. It's been Dark Phoenix Gaming, and we've been watching Dragon Age Origins with Ariana Tabris. If you've enjoyed this, then please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more Dragon Age adventures. See you next time.